All right, guys, I'm back with another one. If you have an Aventon bike that has hydraulic brakes on it and yours have become mushy, like mine have, I'm gonna show you how to fix it with this universal kit that I bought from Amazon. First time I had issues with my brakes, I ended up taking it to a local bike shop and they charged me 30 bucks to, get the, to bleed my brakes, basically. And although that was a great idea, it seemed like a month later I needed to do it again. So I ended up buying a kit originally for uh, Shimano brakes. And I know that uh, Aventon uses different types of uh, components when it, when it comes to their bikes. I don't know if every bike that uh, they sell has Zoom brakes on it like mine does, but I got the Shimano kit, I figured it would work, but the cap would not screw in to the actual brake. So I ended up getting this universal one on Amazon just because it has all these different fittings. Look at all the options that we have for the different connectors for your brakes. So I'm pretty sure that no matter what kind of brakes you have, this is gonna work for you. But you have to figure out, before you start this whole thing, which one is gonna be the correct one for your bike. Now your bike should have came with a set of Allen keys and I can tell you right now that none of those are going to work or be helpful for bleeding your brakes or you're breeding your brake lever. You're going to need a star key like this. The first thing you need to do is number one, make sure your bike is level. I have set mine on a piece of firewood to level it up and you're going to take the, you're going to use your star key. You're going to unscrew this cap. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you keep the O-ring with that bolt. Do not lose it and then put it someplace safe. Now, you wanna try these different plugs to see which one, I don't see that's too small, is going to screw in to your top. That one's too big. This one is just right. All right, now that you've found the correct one, <laughs> you're going to take this cup, and stick that in there like that, and you put this cap on it so that it doesn't unhook. And then you should be able to keep this together all the time. And now, there you go. You have the one that's going to be perfect for your bike and your brake setup. Now, you have two ways of doing this. You can either put the fluid in first and then screw this in, or do it the way I do it. And I screw this in first. Then I put in the fluid. And do you see that little piece right here? There's a little stopper and you gotta make sure that that's in there and pushed all the way down before you start either one of the processes before you start putting fluid in there. All right, we're ready for some fluid. Now you're gonna spin this little stick a little bit. As you wanna, and as you do that, you're kinda pulling it out so it doesn't just shoot stuff all over the place, boom, and it's out, and we are ready to bleed. And now that you've got that connected, and the, and the stopper out, you just start pumping it, and look, see the little bubbles? It's getting rid of the air, the fluid's going down, so it's going into the line. My brake is getting tighter, I can tell already. And you can actually clamp the brake, and then tap the, tap the line get those air bubbles out. When you have it the way you want it, just go ahead and put that little stomper back in, unscrew it, and there should be fluid all the way at the top. Screw your cap back on. I mean, it's gonna leak. You're gonna leak a little fluid. Yeah, we're just gonna wipe all that off and we're good to go. Time to do the next one. Oh my gosh, did you guys notice how dirty my hydraulic fluid was when I did that? When I did that to tighten up my lever? Well, that tells me that I need to replace the whole hydraulic fluid anyway. So maybe my next video will be about that. But that right there, you can do it on your bike and it's a quick, easy fix. It'll keep you going. Um, and, but then when it gets dirty like that, you need to change out your, uh, your hydraulic fluid. So I'm gonna leave the description of that universal kit in there. It does come with gloves, which I did not use. Um, for those who don't like to get sticky sticky and also you would want to use some kind of degreaser or whatever to wipe off that uh, That brake lever now, you know what you need 
The link will be in the description below on how to get uh, that universal kit. Thank you for watching and enjoy the ride.